Now America's kids are watching. Some believe racism is taught at an earlier age, but how do we have those conversations about race inside our homes? News 12's Taylor Bishop shares parents' answers in this special report. There are some people out there that will look at you differently because of the color of your skin. After the deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and countless others, many parents wonder whether to have the talk with their kids at all, while some parents are having the talk once again. People have different backgrounds, and, and just because she's never experienced hardships doesn't mean those hardships aren't happening. So I gathered a group of parents and their children from all walks of life to discuss how we can better talk about racism at home. I think how to make the world a better place is to get rid of races, like some, like most races, so that racism. <laughs> Experts in child psychology say these conversations are essential for all parents to have. Letting them know that our people whether black, white, brown, has been through adversities and we have triumphed through that adversities, creating a sense of resiliency for our children in facing adversities in our community. When dealing with the police, Glenn Scrubs, who is a parent and Chattanooga police officer, says he teaches his son to know that not all cops are good cops. There may be some bad apples in the bunch. You're gonna meet people who might not love you, you know, and just just to be mindful that just like in every every other you know, walk of life, you're gonna have good folks and bad ones. So what do you say when your child brings you these tough questions? You know, telling them it's okay to stand up to people that aren't kind. You always treat people with respect, no matter what you are dealing with, what they encounter with you, you make sure you know how to talk to people. Vanella White spoke about her first encounter when she realized she would be treated differently just because the color of her skin. I was 11 years old and I had a gun put in my face by a guy who I thought his dad, I thought this was a friendly family um, and they called me the N-word and told me to get off their property. And to have that experience at 11 and to progress progressively have that up until even this school year, I had a student say that to me in the classroom. Um, so there's really not a day that goes by that I d I'm not aware um, of the color of my skin. These parents all agreed it takes a village to raise a child, but it also takes a village to change the world. I think my, my skin is beautiful because that is how God made me to be. In Chattanooga, Taylor Bishop, News 12 Now.